welcome back. Oh, it was a dirty land. Welcome back. Oh, it's a dirty land. Thing. Is it dirty as me? Oh, welcome back to OG Reefs and Aquariums. So, two things. Today, wait a minute, today. This is, uh, I should actually adjust it before I start recording. Okay, today we're going to add a new coral to the tank. And also, I want to show you guys something. Right? Oh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I get to it in a second. I gotta remember the name of it. <laughs> Get out of here. No now I'm not buying no name curls. I'm buying high end curls. You peasant. All right. So, two things. First of all, if you guys are using any type of magnetic frag mount in your, t your tank, do some maintenance. I'm gonna show you something here that's quite alarming, and I actually caught it before I put it in the tank. Now. If you like me, you just like you buy a lot of frags, right? And I don't like the way frags look sitting around. I don't like the way it looks sitting on the on the uh, frag rack. But when you first put them in, you want to kind of put them there, see how they work, then place them later, right? Now, see this brand here? It says Mag Rack Pro by Ocean Wonders. I say it's about a year old. Okay, can hold easily thirty. Uh, there are about 24 frag posts, right? So, I go today to get this out because I'm going to put the new SPS Coral on this guy. Let it get used to my lighting and figure out where I'm going to place it. Look at that. The magnets are actually corroded and they popped. This is out of water, guys. Look at that. Whoop, where is it? See that? I'm going to get to this here. Not only on the rack, but this is now there. It's incredibly strong. Listen, I mean, it's 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 serious. It's made for really thick glass. That's why I bought it, right? But if you guys are using frag racks and you start to notice deterioration in your coral, starting to see excess algae, starting to see die off. Check anything that's magnetic. It goes for your pumps. That goes for your frag racks or anything else. This here, guys. If I had to put it in my tank, mount it like this. I probably never caught it. Because no one ever comes to a tank and looks underneath. Right? So, Mag Rack Pro. I think I got it for like 45 bucks. I bought it from LFS. They actually sell it on Amazon. Piece of shit. Don't go. Don't use it. So instead, I'm going to go with this guy. And this is a frag, like island, I guess. Only problem is it's on the sand base, so I won't get the appropriate light I need for a acro, right? But it won't rust, and at least it gave me a chance overnight for it to settle in my system and me get an idea where I'm gonna put it. All right. So that's fine. Now, what did I buy? I bought from my local LFS 360 curls. Now this guy is a wholesaler, and he never has anything in stock. But when he do, it's normally high end at an end the price. So I got here. Let me open it up. Ugh. And I shouldn't be buying anything because I got no room in my tank. But if it's high end, and I can frag it, get my money back, I'm gonna buy it. All right. This is a three head. Uh, Pink Cadillac is the name of it. Uh, Pink Cadillac goes online easily from three fourths of an inch for about sixty nine dollars. I got this whole piece here for thirty bucks, so I had to buy it. So now I'm gonna dip it, and I might, since it's not encrusted, I'm gonna take it off the base and reglue it. And show you the whole process. Give me a second. All right, so this is the water from the shop. This is my container mark dip. Let's go ahead and pour this in there. Revive the dip. I'm going to use about a half a cup. All right. 
I'm going to place frag into the dip. And I'm gonna let that sit there for three or four minutes. Then I got a turkey baser somewhere around here. I'm gonna hit it. Now, while that's sitting there, I'm actually gonna use a different type of frag plug. And let's see here. It's actually a clear plug. I like these better than the white ones. They really don't show too good. I got black ones somewhere, but I, I don't feel like looking for it. So while that sits in there, in the dip, one of the places here, and I'll be back. All right, turkey baser. So. Toss it around, and I'm starting to see all kind of little stuff come off of it already. I don't know what it is, but I don't want it in my tank. Always dip your coral, no matter how clean the system's coming from. Because there's stuff floating around here that's not a coral. Okay. Now going to place some glue on a frag plug. Healthy. Let that sit there. Now let's go in and grab the plug out. And let's try to remove it. Sometime I actually go ahead and take a separate frag right now and have two growing but not this time so we're going to remove this from the base real simple toss this here's my base and good hunk of glue right there Let's go to the clean water, and you just put a couple of drops of water. It's still, it actually hold pretty quick. Okay. Now I'll place this into the clean water and let it sit. All right. So this has been in water. Here it is. Now. So we're gonna take it in the tank, give you a quick run through of the tank, and wrap it up. And let's talk about this a little more. All right, guys. So this is what came from the actual dip. I don't know. Maybe right there. Not really sure what it is, but always dip your coral, guys. Now let me go show you what it looks like in the tank. So here's the tank guys, give you a quick update, A cans, so here's the new frags, these are frags that just broke off, and you might want to buy some frags, hit me up, I got a ton of frags, this is the new, this is the pink Cadillac right here, so it's already showing great color, even though I just put it in the tank, right, and then this is the home record, you guys might remember. Right there in the middle, see them go. That's the home record. Got a lot of stuff. Home record. Then, uh, I got corals over. I can't remember what's what. To be honest with you. Anyway, that's to look at the tank. A cans. OG mushroom, I mean, uh, bounce mushroom. OG back there. That's my Keeleys. WC Skylo. Japanese. I forget what it's called. <laughs> that guy's grown. This is a nice dunk in here. I'll try to sell. He's taking on double teams, triple teams. They're going to have some opportunities on the outside. 
first and second down. See if they can pop the big one. All right, man. Consistency and patience. Check out my uh, check out my uh, weightlifting page. I'm sure Muscle Fitness. Like, subscribe below. New videos coming soon. And uh, appreciate. Once I get to 100, see so we can do a little giveaway, man. But well, guys, help me out. Help me grow the channel. Help me get to where I should be. And peace.